Do you ever feel like your motivation is slipping away because we're diving into the most effective strategies to get you off the couch, off your phone, and crushing your goals all year long? First step is you have to set clear and achievable goals. Don't just say, oh, I want to be ripped. Oh, I want to be rich. You need to have a clear vision of what you want to accomplish. This will give you a roadmap to follow. Break your goals down into smaller, more achievable tasks. Each step you take feels like an achievement, keeping you motivated to move forward. For example, if your goal is to get fit, set specific milestones, like I want to run a 5K by the end of the month, or I want to lose 10 pounds by the middle of July. Celebrate the smaller victories along the way to help maintain that momentum. The reason you keep losing that momentum is because you have too many distractions. I challenge you, pull up your phone and take a look at your screen time. Identify the three apps that you spend the most amount of time on. I mean, between TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, you're always distracted. A vast majority of y'all won't even be able to finish the video because it's too long. If you do finish the video, Comment your goals down below. It'll help you stay accountable and the others will keep you accountable as well. Once you have identified the three apps that you spend the most amount of time on, delete the apps for at least a week. I promise you'll be able to take more time and devote it towards the things you actually need to get done rather than doom scrolling. You need to start taking massive action towards your goals. That means you can't just sit back and keep making the same excuses. If nothing changes, nothing changes. Think about that. What can you do to get 1% better each day? What can you do today? Whether that's go on a walk, whether that's do a couple push-ups, whether that's reading or listening or watching non-fiction entertainment to be able to get you to those goals. I can't tell you how much YouTube I watched in order to help me launch my business. Watching these videos will strike inspiration. It'll strike motivation. But motivation will only get you so far. It's the discipline that keeps you going. If you only do what you've always done, you'll only get what you've already got. It's not what we do every now and then that will change our lives. It's what we do consistently. Like I said, the path to success takes massive action. Goal setting is going to be the key to your success. You need to create a compelling future for you to be able to stay motivated. To stay disciplined. Write down every goal you want to complete for the rest of the year. I mean, really break it down. What does it look like? What does it sound like? What does it smell like? Really visualize what that looks like. And I'm not talking about writing it down just on your notes app. Write it down on paper. Write a date on the days that you want to complete it. Be realistic for what you want to actually accomplish. You need to be real with yourself. You will get what you believe you deserve. See, writing it down will give you the end goal of what you want to achieve. And then you just have to reverse engineer it. So if you want to make $10,000 online by the end of the year, you need to figure out how you're going to do that. So you start making smaller and more achievable goals. Will you start a YouTube? Will you start a business? If you want to get a six pack, are you going to start cutting out soda, chips, what are you going to do to make those goals more achievable? Remember, what can you do today? Goals will get you motivated, but discipline will get you to your goal. Before we continue, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Your support is the only way I get to continue doing what I love. Listen, I know I can just sit here and talk about, oh, you just need to stay motivated and you need to stay disciplined. I'm working on that as well. I quit my nine to five job 10 months ago to start my own business. I bought into a franchise, and I can tell you that this is the most challenging thing that I have ever done. I bought into the franchise with absolutely zero business experience. I went to a community college. I got a two-year associate's degree in arts. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew one fact. I didn't want to do anything for 30 years, just grinding the same old gear. And I challenge you, what do you want to achieve? I took what I knew from the jobs and the rest I didn't know, I figured, hey, if someone just like me can do it, why can't I learn? So then I started to find the books. I started to find the YouTube and the podcasts. I took all of that, and I've just been running with it. Now, one thing that I have learned is you don't have to be the best at any one thing, but you need to be willing to admit to yourself on what you don't know and be willing to seek that information. 
See, it all started with a dream, or should I say a goal? Because that's what goals are, is it starts out as a dream. My goal, my dream, is to do what I actually love. And to be able to continue doing that, I had to make a change. That massive action, I wanted to be comfortable in the business that I was starting while maintaining a steady paycheck. But those circumstances, having to quit my job, made me dive headfirst into that business. And I honestly don't think I'd be in the same position I am now if I didn't. So with all that to say, take the leap. Continue to do what you want to do. Everyone has the same goals, the same dreams, but the ones who actually succeed are the ones who go out and get it. Instead of talking about it, you need to start acting. So whether your goal is to start a business or to get fit or anything else, you know you can achieve it. Keep grinding. How bad do you want it? Your environment has a significant impact on your motivational levels. Round yourself with positive people. Remove those distractions. You know what they are. Create a workspace that works best for you. Clean your room. No one works good in a messy space. Lastly, surround yourself with like-minded people. You know, I hear that all the time. Surround yourself with like-minded people, but no one actually gives advice on how to find those people. And today, if you're one of those people who want to go after your goals, comment and spam the word Discord. If enough people are interested, I'll create a Discord for us to hang out in, to brainstorm, so we can start building that community together. And there you have it. I hope that these strategies will give you the tools to be able to get going, to start. I really feel like it just boils down to stop making excuses and just starting. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. We learn new topics each week. And until next time, stay motivated, stay disciplined, and stay curious.